to another episode of You Heart Cooks. My name is Amanda. I am the food service director for the retail locations on campus, as well as part of the culinary team. We're keeping it a little more casual today, mostly because I cannot fit into my chef coat anymore, but I promise this is not a quarantine belly. So we are going to be preparing a mango corn avocado salad, super fresh and super seasonal. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of tips and tricks along the way. Um, so let's get started. Sweet corn is just about to be in season right now. You're gonna start seeing it in your grocery stores and your farmer's markets and things like that. Um, a great tip about corn is that you can eat it raw or you can eat it cooked. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but it is really delicious raw. So for this recipe, um, I've roasted three of the uh, corn ears and the other two we're gonna keep raw. And I'm gonna show you a trick on how to cut it. This little plant container right here, I'm sure a ton of you have them at home um, from just takeout dinners and things like that. They come in super handy for this. So get yourself a bowl and a container just like this. So you're gonna wanna make sure the, um, the bottom of your corn is flat so you can put it right on there. Take your knife and just run it right down. So what this does is it prevents the kernels from going everywhere. Um, if you're just doing this right on the cutting board, they're gonna go all over the place, but at least you have a little bit of a stand and some leverage. The knife can go all the way down and you can get everything right in the bowl. Okay, so we're gonna do two of these and then we're gonna add our roasted corn in. Here I, um, I roasted it at 350 degrees with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, um, granulated garlic and paprika for some color so you can see that there's a couple little roasty pieces in there, um, which add some really good flavor and texture to the salad. Okay, so now you have a beautiful contrast of kind of different corns in there. So to this, we're going to add one diced red bell pepper. You can also use green, yellow. You can also add some jalapeno in here if you like a little spice. Um, this recipe is super versatile, so feel free to use what you have on hand. Um, I'm also doing a half of a diced red onion. That's gonna go right in there. Next, we're gonna do some mango, and I'm gonna show you guys how to cut it. Mangoes can be super tricky um, just because of the way the pit is, but I'm gonna show you an easy way how to do it. So also, just a note to make sure that you always wash your produce, even if you're gonna peel it. Um, you don't know who's handling it in the grocery store or what's getting on it, what chemicals they use or anything like that. So even if you're going to um, peel it, you should always wash it, okay? So we're just gonna cut off the end so we have a flat surface like this, okay? And that's gonna make it easier for us to cut later. And then we're gonna just peel it. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna face it away from you and cut on either side of that pit, okay? And it's gonna go straight down just like that. And the pit's right here in the middle. And then you can kind of just go around it like this Cut off some of the edges. You can just dice this up. Okay, so next we're gonna do the avocado. You could cut it down the middle um, and go all the way around it just like I did. Um, also to get this pit out, you just kind of stab it with the knife a little bit and give it a little twist and it should come right out. And then once you have it in your hand, um, you can kind of just score it like this and then you're easily able to scoop it out and put it right into the salad just like that. We're gonna give this a good mix to make sure everything is incorporated. Um, I'm gonna be adding cilantro to this. I love cilantro. Um, if you don't like cilantro, which a lot of people don't, dill would also be a great alternative. And then the dressing for this is actually super simple. Um, all it is is a little bit of olive oil some salt and pepper that I have mixed up here, and lime juice. So these limes were a little bit hard when I got them in the grocery store, so what I did is I just popped them in the microwave for 15 seconds, and now they're super juicy and easy to squeeze, just like that. And then I'm gonna give it a good mix, and we're gonna be all set. So this is our final product, right there. Please make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at You Heart Dining. We really appreciate you joining us for another episode of You Heart Cooks. If you have any recipe suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. We hope that you're all doing well and having a great start to your summer. Thank you so much.